How's it going? I hope you're doing as good as I'm doing today. Nice little bit of rain. I don't know if that's gonna fuck up the audio or not, but I don't think it will. Um, but I, I'm, I'm proud of myself in two ways today. Because uh, first of all, you know, I hit some pretty solid fucking weight on the squats. Uh, I really wanted 385 for six and I hit it and I felt like it was like a super, super good effort. Uh, and, but you know, the, the negative that came today, which is unfortunate is I, I got the mega shaky shakes in my core, the pins and needles, you know, the shit that <laughs> basically takes all of your energy. And I was like, ah, oh, shit. Well, hopefully I could take a little break and come back. Normally I can, but today was just one of those rare days where this is kind of the, this is the downside of feeling it out. And again, it's not a bad thing if you call it, if you uh, call it before getting injured or anything stupid. But got to my snatches and like I put on the 25s, and I was like, oh fuck, I can't even lock in on the, on 95 pounds. Uh, so I went uh, again. I sometimes like at least for me when I'm trying to figure that kind of thing out I'll give myself to the working set uh but I got up to 185 and I was like all right you know that was that would have been like my first working set anyway so I will I don't want to injure myself but before we get into all that physically I give it a solid uh, I'm gonna give it a 7.9 not because I feel bad but because I ran into the unfortunate issue today of actual uh, painful strain rather than like muscle uh, slightly pulling because sore kind of strain, I guess. I I'm gonna get into the specifics in a minute, um, but that's, again, that was the consequence of my squat. Sorry, I'm hydroplaning, sheesh. <laughs> uh, but, Mentally, you know, I'll give it an eight. You know, it was kind of just solid. You know, nothing bad. Uh, I, you know, everybody wishes they could hit heavier weights than what they uh, ended up hitting, but I'm happy with the effort I put in. And I stuck to my mentality that I've been telling you about, where if I feel like it's getting too much, I'm I'm gonna chill out, because putting your physical health on the line for one good set that might go bad really bad it's just not worth it especially when you got to remember all the other workouts you're going to be doing throughout the week and months whatever because like I've, I've had a i've had a six month recovery from an injury you know i imagine hitting imagine putting on the weights one just going up one more set just because you were like oh i feel i, I think i like I, it's it's really hard but like i just really feel like pushing it to push it you know no no actual reason and then you miss out on six months of work workouts because of one set. It's like it just it just makes zero sense when you think of it logically. So um, just you know, I, I guess the main topic is uh, we're just gonna talk about the experience of pain, I guess, in the gym. You know, it kind of just what experiences uh, can lead you to discover about what you're actually feeling in the gym because there is such a big misconception uh when it comes to what pain actually feels like when you're lifting um because again it's people will go into these lifts and get way too much adrenaline and not stop thinking about their bodies or their form and they'll just be like oh i can i can definitely hit it. i'm just gonna fucking go for it and it just is never worth it in the long run, unfortunately. Um, shit, sorry. I'm fucking losing my words right now. But essentially, for me, if I feel like I am getting to that point where, like, there's, like, there's pain, I don't know uh, how the next set's going to go, especially when, like, because like it's it's really hard to decide whether or not it's pain or soreness but what really sets it apart for me in the long run is um whether or not i'm actually afraid of that next set oh shit sorry uh god damn it it's sorry it's pouring out it's really hard to focus um anyway okay we're on a good drive now <laughs> no more light so 
you got my full attention now. Anyway, sorry to ramble. Um, when I'm unsure of how my performance is going to be when it comes to my intensity and my form and my core strength, that's when I really sit down and I'm like, all right, well, is this really worth pushing? You know, because if you're in there and you're feeling great, your form's off, your form's where it needs to be, your core's feeling nice and firm, and you haven't felt any type of, you know, real pain, like you might be a little sore, might be a little stiff, but nothing like a good set won't help. Uh, like that's different, you know, if I'm feeling all locked in and like I can be a little bit sore, you know, feel again, it's just a matter of do I have the mindset from how I'm feeling to keep going? Because this, this is the big difference between having a mindset that takes you down before you start lifting versus div- like versus uh, getting a mentality mid-session, you know, mid-set. Because uh, a lot of people go in and be afraid of the weights before they even fucking touch them. And then the moment they get close to anything slightly heavy, they're just like, ah, that slight soreness is definitely pain. I'm just done. I don't want to push it. I don't, that's not what I'm talking about. For me, I... I was like, I was feeling great. You know, my squats went really well. I definitely felt tired as shit and pretty sore from that heavy squat set. But I was like, you know what? I think I got some in me. Let me at least put in some effort and see what I got. And again, put on the 25s and I instantly was like, that's a really bad start. Uh, But at least for me, in my experience, you either fuck up uh, in your form and core or whatever in Olympic lifts, most of the time, either on your first set or your last set. And unfortunately, this time, it was the first and the last set. <laughs> um, uh, and so I did the first set, and I was like, all right, let me feel it out, put on the 45s. That went pretty good, but I was still like, I had to put in some effort. And I was like, this should be fucking easy. I should be I should be swinging this. Like, it's nothing. Like an infant that I've grabbed by the ankles. <laughs> but um, I... I, I was like, all right, well, my next set's normally the 25s with the 45s going up to 185. And I was like, this is where I'll know. You know, it's kind of like, I don't really go by working sets. I just go to, like, what feels nice uh, or what I feel like I'm capable of putting in with the amount of intensity and effort I have that day. But um, uh, I put on the 185, and I was like, this is where I'm going to really know how I'm going to really be able to feel out on whether or not um, my body's with me today because your mental can help your physical, uh, strength a lot. Uh, but if you actually have some physical pain that's taking away from you, it's it, like your mentality is not going to be able to pull you out. You know, normally, uh, it's, you got to be locked in physically and then put your mentality on top of it. And when the physical is already down the drain, when it not like when it comes to like how much you're able to put forth, but how if you're limited by some physical strain, that's what fucks you up. So I, you know, I did the set. I missed my, oh, what was it? I missed my third rep, and I immediately jumped back on and hit it because I knew I had it. But the fact that I missed that third rep at 185 and that just the way it felt. Because, again, this comes with a lot of experience. Um, You have to be lifting for a minute to really understand how your unique body is going to handle that stress. So, you know, I literally was just thinking back to the other day. Like, so far this week, I've hit 215 on my top snatch, on, like, my main snatch day for a triple. That was awesome. But I was, like, peaked for that day on my uh, less isolated snatch day when I did snatch with bench the other day. Went up to 205. That was also really good. And I was like, okay, so let's see how this set compares to that 205 set. Because I did squats first and then snatches. And oh boy, unfortunately, but you know, you got to stay humble. That 185 set felt like the 205 set. I felt like I was like really forcing myself to get underneath the bar instead of being able to like meet it at my own pace. Because uh, shit, get, you know shit gets heavy in Olympic lifting when... Uh, you got to whip yourself at fucking light speed just to get under the bar. <laughs> That's like the whole point of it being a technique based lift. Um, so, you know, I guess take that kind of shit with a grain of salt. I, I'm not trying to like divert you from trying new shit. Uh, I'm all about trying new stuff out, but you got to 
you got to understand that your body's got a limit to what you can do. Um, and it's, this is why I'm going to like a comfortable failure set instead of actual failure. Um, I, I just want to make sure that my body is safe while putting in the most intensity possible for me. Like when, like, I guess with the hierarchy of it, my body comes first, then my form and then the weights, you know, my strength kind of just comes along with it. Uh, as long as I'm consistent. Um, but, you know, regardless of what I say, just give your body the benefit of the doubt. Because more times than not, if it's in pain and it feels like it's not going to be able to pick up what you're trying to throw or whatever, just whatever you're trying to lift, it'll tell you. You know, that's the whole point of being able to listen to your body. It's not just going to a weight that you can comfortably lift with confidence. It's also knowing when to put that weight back down when your body just doesn't have it in it. Because I'm telling you, man, if I went up to 205 today, there was a good chance my low back would have pulled at least, you know, and you, that's the sucky thing. When you have a possible injury coming, you can never know how awful it's going to be for recovery. So like, while realistically and statistically probably would have just been a small pull, take me out for a day or two. I've, I've ripped my, my, my low back on both sides before at once, you know, I've mentioned it earlier, but six months of recovery is no fucking joke. It sucks. It's genuinely horrible to put down your passion and redirect that passion into what you want to become later on without even being able to do it. I couldn't put a single bar above my head or squat anything. So you never, I don't think people get as humble as they need to be to realize this difference until they've lost what they wanted to do in the gym or anything in life of that matter. Um, even if it's just for a certain amount of time, I'm lucky I got to come back. Uh, I'm lucky I was as young as I was to be injured like that in order to come back at the healthiest rate possible. If I was in my late twenties to early thirties, I would have never lifted again. Literally. It, it, that's just, that's how bad a back or knee injury can get. Just anything with the bones, joints, or back. Those are the ones that'll kill you. <laughs> I'm telling you. So just stay safe. Enjoy your lifts otherwise. You know, don't think too hard about it. But again, if you're not able to just go in and whip that shit and have fun without thinking about it, if your body's constantly just like, oh, I don't know, I'm, uh, and you're like constantly feeling fear rather than having fun and just whipping that shit to do it, most of the time, if you've got some good experience behind your belt, you might be in for an injury. So give your body the rest it needs. And so, again, the good thing about this that I'll take, you know, you can always take a bunch of positives away from stuff as long as you got the mindset for it. I could be sad that I didn't hit the snatches I wanted to hit, but what I'm going to do instead is think, well, tomorrow's bench and clean and jerk day. And sh benching and then clean and jerking is fucking hard. So I need as much energy as I'm going to get. And the Super Bowl's tonight, so fuck me. Like, I need to keep my shit together for the next 24 hours so that I can have a proper rest day afterward. So... I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, in the meantime, just keep doing your shit. Stay consistent. Stay disciplined. Stay passionate. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.